Hey, fellow weirdos. So today we're going to talk about concept to script for the film that I just made recently, Velo. It's a short film. So this is how to do that concept to script. And I'll show you all the things and all the steps that I took. So obviously you can see the film playing in the top right. So you already know in previous videos, you have the typical story structure that you can watch in previous videos. So I did the same thing. Everything I'm trying to teach is essentially what I did. You have your three acts, you have all your steps, turning points and everything like that. So I went through the whole stages. You know, I put the scenes in, I put the scene and so on and so forth. And you can see that in the outline here. And in that outline, everything was in point form. You can see act one, I'll turn it into a single page. I can do that. Yep. So as you can see, for me, I like color coding certain things. Like for me, it's like the lie, the truth. It keeps me, you know, in that theme, motivation, ghost, et cetera, et cetera. Certain dialogue, certain scenes, they speak to certain aspects of the story. So I like color coding it. And initially the story was supposed to be something else same kind of character but far more darker far more immersive and more world building and the way i wrote everything was very budget conscious because i knew like i knew i had no budget and this film was going to be a micro budget because the end result was essentially the only money that really came out of it was like around 80 dollars canadian and that was it will, it will be showcased later on in uh, subsequent videos. And that was just a gear. Um, essentially, it was a, like an arm to put a camera. In this case, it would be a cell phone on his bike, on the lead actor's bike, uh, Isaac. And that's most of the budget was on gear. Everything else I already had. So I knew going in what the budget roughly would be, what I can do, who I have. So I wrote accordingly based upon that. If you have a bigger budget, if you have a crew, for me, I knew it was just really going to be me and the actors. I was going to wear all the hats, et cetera, et cetera. So going through this, um, nothing, the way I always tell people is just write down. Nothing has to be correct spelled correctly or anything like that just get the stuff out of your head and onto the page just do it ramble on i like to use voice to text honestly because it's quicker and you're not worried about anything you're just like saying it you know fl fluid thought forms and everything like that just get it out but put it in its right place or rearrange it after the fact and by the time it gets to this stage where it's put into its right uh, plotting and story structure phase is like, let's say months later, because like this concept or the original concept I had a year ago or a little bit more than that. Actually, let me think it was three years ago and the initial idea was three years ago, but it's been in a notebook and in uh, different notes on and off because I knew the lead actor for years. I knew him for over a decade. so these ideas would come I'd, the moment it comes i wrote it down get it down and then from there it becomes these notes that come every day every so often when you're doing something totally different an idea comes get your cell phone every cell phone nowadays has a uh, voice to text just say it into the notes and then later on organize it this way the way i've shown you in previous videos so once we take it from there we open up all this gibberish to, to, to me it's i know what it is but to some people reading this will be like what the hell what the hell but to me i i visually see what i say like I, I see it in my mind fully formed but obviously it will morph to the end result like the end final thing being shot you know pre-production production post-production post -production, so on and so everything will change but i generally know what it could be by the end so you take these and you fill them out the way i showed before and then it becomes um a rough script you flush out each point form and you get something like this so this is essentially the somewhat like there was no full fu like finished script because i was also using uh essentially a deadline a makeshift deadline to get my ass going 
just to create it because we can always procrastinate. We can always say we don't have this. We don't have that. I just said, fuck it, just do it. So I wrote the whole script in four days. And then by the last version, I made a shooting script. The whole film was shot in four days, which was one day a week for one month. There was a fifth day, but that day was never like the shots used were never used in the film because the story changed as we were going along, like all, you know, film productions do. Uh, it comes down to the edit and it comes down to on the moment decisions. So taking this script and then turning it into a shooting script, the way I, in my mind, saw it was like, obviously I color code inserts and I number it by grouping certain um, days. So if I have uh, the actor Isaac who plays Alex in this, like to give you an example, you can see that the beginning, this was, this was in it, but as you go down, you'll see that, for example, it'll say 11A. This is my shooting script, by the way. So it'll say 11A, but 11A is essentially in the sequence that I need to shoot it. But yet this is the beginning of the film. Like this is like the first page, but the sequence of actually shooting it will be different based upon the locations, when you got this person, et cetera, et cetera, all these things. So I would number it that way. See 12A, 12B in sequence. And because then I would know I would be in this place, I would be in this part of the house or this part of the apartment or this part of the street, et cetera, et cetera. And I would group these shots together for obviously economical purposes. And that's what all productions do. They group the days. They're not always shot in chronological order because you're not going to always get it that way. You have to group shots in that way. So once it comes down to this, this is the shooting script. And yeah. And it changes because I have printouts or sides as they call it. And I would mark or like cross off scenes that I've done because I don't have a script supervisor. It's just me by myself. I'm wearing all hats and a script supervisor makes sure that there's continuity. You know, you've already done that scene, how many takes, et cetera, et cetera. So all of that was inside, <laughs> all of that was me. So from this, the finished product, as you can watch for free now on uh, the YouTube channel, it's, it's, a, it's a process, but the entire process, aside from the initial idea, I would count it in this case from script, which was four days to the finished product, which I would say five weeks, roughly five, almost six weeks in total. And I was editing the whole time. Each day I shot, I went home, started editing each day, like, and then made props, made all these things, made changes, you know, pickup shots as they call it. And yeah. So even the ending in this script, there's scenes like these last scenes, there's this, this never was shot. All of this was never shot because as I was going along, I was like, mm, we don't need that. We don't need that. And we don't need that. And that's how most films, you know, do it. So this is how it goes. And I hope this was informative for you. And in the, in the next videos, uh, I will get into the pre-production and the post-production and the production itself. And till then, there's going to be a lot more other videos, but I'm also going to try to do a live Q and A. If you guys are interested in that, let me know because there's things I'm probably missing that you want to know. So please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and tell me what you want to learn in terms of making this film, because I'm one person. If this, if this was someone else, they might need more people. For me, I've worn all these hats over the years in different capacities. So I can take I can take this all upon myself and in the future, obviously, based upon budget, I would have obviously hired people. It would be a totally different film. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification. Also, check out our website for free educational downloads. If you're looking for more story tools, check out our new story planner notebook a guided story structure composite notebook that gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to plot your upcoming story, now available on our website as an ebook, and soon a physical book on Amazon and other platforms. And if you're interested, we offer creative consulting and more information. Check out the website in the description below. Till next time, weirdos, peace out.